I have here a 2004 F-150 with a 4.6 engine. And this truck has been giving me a problem. First, customer brought it here and it uh, had water in the transmission. So much so that it had the filter was rusty. In fact, here is the valve body out of it. If you can see that it has rust all in there on the valve body. So I put a rebuilt valve body on this thing. And here is the case. The reason I changed the case, let's see, right here in the back where the ring grooves were. Let me see. You can see that they had ring groove damage right there. And the ceiling rings ride on that. So they normally re-sleeve re this case, um, but they need a tool to do that. So I just got a case and put the case in. All right, so that's with that. Now, the problem I'm having with this transmission, which made it stay here longer than I wanted it to stay, is that it engages when you put it in drive, forward gear engages, and then you, if you step on accelerator, it disengages. And then engage again, and then disengage, and then engage, and then disengage, engage and disengage. And when it does that, it's a bang. So it comes in neutral, and then bangs, neutral, and then bangs. What's going on? It doesn't do it in manual first. It doesn't do it in second gear. But it does do it in um, drive. So, what I end up doing is tapping into the forward clutch circuit. And I'm going to let you see what I saw as it was doing its mess. All right, I'm in here. I'm going to start this up. Now, I am in park. You might can see that. Let me see. See, the indicator is in park. Look at the gauge, it shows zero. In park, you see. Now I'm going to put this in, I'll put it in drive. We're going to look at the gauge. Put my foot on the brake. Let's see if I can set this here. Well, you can see the gauge too. All right, there's the gauge. Now I'm about to put this in drive. All right, first neutral and drive. Now you see in drive, let's drive. You see it went up to okay. It went up to. You see what it's doing? Fluctuating. 90 to 100. Now, if I press on this accelerator just a little, it went to zero. If I and, and then hit, if I hold my foot on the accelerator, goes down it goes down instead of going up it should go up when I press on the accelerator it should go up to 150 instead it goes down to zero so pressure is escaping out of the forward clutch circuit
okay so it ain't doing something right there it has left now it went back up so it's down it goes out goes back up now when it goes up it re-engages disengage re-engage disengage now there it goes if you hear boom engage re-engage disengage re-engaging disengage re-engaging okay now if I put this in let's see manual two now it's in manual two down there so if you can see manual 2 and had it in on the D overdrive if I put it in manual 2 the pressure is there and if I press on the accelerator it goes up like it's supposed to up. there's the line rise going up this is in manual 2 that's what it's supposed to do in overdrive but instead it goes down okay now Let's see. <clears throat> Trying to get this way. If I put it in, in, in manual one, come here, manual. Trying to get a good light so y'all can see. All right, there you go. I put it in manual one. Right. Even manual one has line rise. So I'll go back into overdrive. Put it back on D. Okay. Mark. You can see there, I'm on D. And I'm gonna press on the accelerator. Goes down. Now it went up. Goes down, okay. There it went down again. There it goes. Now it went up. Down. Now it went right. What caused it to go right? Okay, so obviously something is not right because it's going up and then going down and then going up and then going down. It should go up all the time. Okay, so we have to figure out what is going on. It would disengage. What happened is when you when you get on the um, accelerator when it's on the ground, you're neutral, and then you bang in gear. You're neutral, then bangs in gear again. So we have to see what is causing this. Why is it doing that? Why is it losing that pressure? 
Start. Burst neutral and back to dry. Here it goes down again. When it goes down, it loses the pressure. Down. That is not right. Here it goes. It's doing. It's not right. We have to find out why it's doing that. Because it would never shift right. And it won't even take off right. Looking at this technical manual here for the 4R70W, 75, and you have in park reverse neutral and first, which with the drive button. You got manual first. But let's look at park and you look over here, shift solenoid one should be on, shift solenoid two should be off. You got on, off, on, off. Okay. So shift solenoid is one is on in Park, reverse, neutral, and drive. And shift solenoid two is off in park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Now, I have the ignition on, and on the scanner here, it shows shift solenoid one is off. Oh, is on, excuse me. And shift solenoid two is off. So, so far, it agrees with this paper here. Now, I'm not sure if these are normally open or normally closed. I don't know. But what we do know is that the computer controls the ground side. These shift solenoids have a power side that a fuse that is fused to 12 volt positive. Okay? And then it has the ground side. So the computer controls the on and the off. Either way, there should be 12 volts or no volts. When it comes on, I believe, or no volts. When it goes off, it's going to be 12 volts. Vice versa. Or vice versa. I don't know. It, it, either way, but it's going to be on 12 volts or no volts. Okay? And I believe when, it, when the um, computer commands it on, it will go to zero if you check in the ohm meter. Or not, excuse me, checking the voltage meter because um, you won't see any volts. The solenoid is using it all the volts up, so it should be zero. All right, so we're going to see what this does when the pressure is fluctuating like it was in the drive. Is, is the shift solenoids moving at all? It doesn't have a check engine light on, so let's see. <clears throat> Start it up. Park, reverse, neutral. This is drive. So it's on. Those are not changing at all. It's not changing at all. You look here, I'll see if we can get both of them. You see it went down. If you're looking up there, you see the meter going down down but the solenoids aren't changing they're staying the same it's saying shift solenoid one is on shift solenoid two is off Let's see if I can get both of these together where you can see both at the same time hard to see that meter okay See it going down? Disengage and re-engage. Disengage and re-engage. And that's not moving at all. And it's showing shift solenoid one, no fault. Shift solenoid two, no fault. Okay, remember again, when this goes down to zero, pressure goes out of the forward clutch circuit and it disengages. 
and then pressure goes back in, it re-engages. That's the thump that you're getting. Boom. Okay. So, the computer is not catching that. So one would say there must be a problem on the inside of the transmission. We'll see.